Good morning, Higher Definition Radio. Thank you for joining us for another Sunday morning inspiration. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, Very glad to be on this morning. Uh, Very glad to be in another year to be able to share with you some morning inspirational messages. Very glad to bring you some uh, new positivity for 2022. Please like and share our Facebook page. Again, thank you so much for joining us again for another morning message, but also Higher Definition would like to thank you for uh, your continued support into 2022. We do love our viewers. We thank you so very much for joining us for these Sunday morning inspirational messages. Um, And anytime that you join us for any of our shows, we truly, truly appreciate you um, as our viewers and our community. Um, Not going to keep you long this morning. Like I said, please like and share our Facebook page. Very excited uh, to have a very special guest with us again this morning. Dr. Gallman is not by any means a guest to the Higher Definition show um, anymore. Mm -hmm. She is now part of the HD family and we do appreciate her Mm -hmm. and appreciate her messages. And thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Gallman. Um, No introductions needed. If I were to say anything, I would say um, another Louisville Lion joining us for our morning message. So uh, without further ado, I'm not going to keep you. I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Gallman for our morning inspirational message. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, Tia Giss, I would like to thank you again for this opportunity, Higher Definition, um, for one more time uh, to be in, being able to uh, use in this opportunity to inspire. Uh, before we get started, I would like to uh, pray. Um, so if you will bow your heads with me um, and join me with prayer this morning. Heavenly Father, here we are today. Here I am, God, opening up my vessel so that you can continue to pour in me. So that whatever it is, God, that you have in me, God, that you will use me to be able to to send it out, God. God, hide me behind the cross that they will not see me, God, but they will see you because it's not about me, God. It's not about us. It's all about you. In Jesus name. Amen. Um, I uh, wanted to start out by um, telling you about a story that I was reading about um and in the story it was talking about a man with a telescope he said that when he was little he had gotten a telescope and he was so excited when he was ready to use it he went inside outside so that he could point it to where he wanted um, so that he could see through his new telescope he said but when he did point it to where he was looking it was much smaller than what he expected. He was so frustrated because what he expected was to be able to see things larger and closer simply because he could see it with his own eyes, but he just wanted it to be very, very close. He wanted to see the details. He said he was so disappointed because he just knew that the telescope was not working. But then he got this notion to just turn it around. And then it happened. He said he was able to see things in a larger perspective and they were very close. He could see the details. Now, he was a little boy, so he did not understand that he had to just turn the telescope around. When I read the story, it was compelling to me because I realized that that telescope is the type of trust that we have in God and his word. We ask for things get excited about it, but we look through the wrong end of the telescope. When we do, instead of seeing objects more clearly, you see them less clearly and they seem even farther away. Now, what I want you to do is to think of your trust in God and him as that telescope. When you trust God through the lens of his word, you see him more clearly and it brings you near to him. But if you trust God through the lens of the world, it will do just the opposite. You will see God less clearly and he will seem further away. 
Now, what I found from this is that we are like that young boy. We see and we know what our hearts desire, but we are looking at it from the wrong end of the telescope. That wrong end is the lack of trust. So we sometimes have trust issues with God. So with this story, it inspired the inspiration for this morning. So today's topic is trust issues. And the Bible verse that I am basing this on is, an, is a Bible verse that we have heard many, many times. And it's based from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. It reads, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. See, we develop trust issues because we ask God to do something and he didn't do it. We ask him to heal and no healing comes. We ask him to deliver and deliverance seem so far away. And then we struggle with asking him again because what if he doesn't do it again? How many times can we ask God with everything we have only to be disappointed time and time again? What I have found is that the hardest thing to grasp is trusting God. Many of us strive daily to make ends meet or to make things happen. However, we often do it and become overwhelmed and completely wiped out from having to take care of everything. Truth is, is that this makes it difficult to pray or open up. Or you may be too exhausted from doing it all on your own that you have no words or you don't know what to say or when and, and if you do pray, in the rawest moments of honest hurting, sometimes we cannot make sense of what God is allowing, all of which makes us hold our trust so close to our chest that we tie it to our fears rather than tie it to our faith. I believe that what really causes us to struggle with trusting God is that we don't want to make a choice to trust him. We need to intentionally choose to trust even when we don't feel like it. The thing is, is that when life hits us over and over again, we tend to become comfortable or become used to how things are. We get used to seeing things that are so far away and either we give up or choose to make excuses. Or sometimes we even say it's too late. Or sometimes we just stop trying and, and, and asking because it's not moving in our favor through how we want to see it or on our time. It becomes unreachable because we get caught up in a cycle. We forget that God stick with us and uses those challenges to shape us. Our automatic notion of wanting to always figure it out instead of trusting him only gives us a backup plan that never works. See, the phrase figure it out stood out to me. So I wanted to know exactly what that meant. So I decided to look it up and compare it to what trust meant. So in the, in the dictionary, figure it out means that you have no other choice while, or, or, or you're trying to consider it or expect it to be the case because of. The word trust means to be reliable, truth, able, confident, and strength. See, figure it out means that you have no other choice, while trust means confident that it will. When I saw this comparison, I began to remember a few years ago of a moment I had with just me and God. I was lying in my bed and I, at that time I was going through some really, really hard situation and, 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 and was taking time to just clear my head and, and just trying to figure it out. Eventually I grew tired and decided to try to fall asleep. I couldn't sleep because my mind was racing and, 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 I was, and, and all I was doing was just tossing and turning. I, I tried to pray but I didn't know what to say, but God knew I was trying to communicate. I was so hurt at the time and so disappointed that I just didn't know what to say or even how to pray for it. 
But then I started drifting off to sleep. And there I remember a vision that just rocked my world. He showed me my mom and my papa. He showed me asking them for some things with, with, with complete confidence. Confidence. I recalled in this vision how comfortable I felt. How I felt relieved knowing that they were going to help me. I recall with no doubt in my mind that, that as I go to them and I ask them for something, I, I knew that with, when I went to them with full assurance that they was going to do what I asked of them. And I remember just feeling so comfortable in that vision. I had no fear in the world. I remember waking up from that vision and, and that's when the Holy Spirit began to whisper to me. He said, if you can ask them for anything and know with confidence, they will do it for you. Why can't you do that for me? Why can't you completely rely on me? See, that is where we stand sometimes. Our trust issues leads us to trying to figure it out. That figuring it out only leads to worrying. It leads to trying to control everything because we fear of the outcome. When we look at God and who he is and ask with confidence, we are then saying to God that we are confident that he will take care of it all. It all comes from understanding who he is. See, when we, having, when we are having trust issues, we are saying that God is not reliable and that we can control it. Figuring it out means that we made him our last resort or that we are considering him instead of trusting him all because we have chosen to reason like we do with the world or with people. He is not man. As I was preparing for today, God led me to Jeremiah 17, 5 and 8. So when you get um, get time and during your prayer time and meditation, I want you to read through this and study it. As I was reading through this and studying and 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 and, and writing things down, the Holy Spirit was really ministering ministering to me. He said to me, "There are two kinds of people, not two and one. Either you are one, or you are the other. Either you trust." in the Lord, or you trust in man. He confirmed this with me in Jeremiah, and I'm gonna par paraphrase this. He says that when he's, he says, curse is the one who trusts in man, who draws strength from their flesh, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. Your trust issues leads to trusting in false gods, like money, even your spouses or your children, your, 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 your own control, fame, selfishness, or in so many cases with the world that we live in, instant gratification. All of these things lead to a barren and unfruitful life. However, those who trust in him flourish like trees planted by the water. When you trust in the world, you become spiritually weak. And of course, there is no strength to draw on. If anything, you become depressed, disconnected, you may, you may give up on a vision or you are always bouncing from one instant gratification to another instant gratification until you are exhausted from running in circles. In other words, when you live aimlessly and rootless, nothing will grow. Oh, but when you handle the trust issues and fully, fully trust in God, you will have abundant strength, not only for your needs, but enough to share with others. When you understand who God is, your perspective will change. <laughs> see, see, not only will it change, but you will see your setbacks as failures or, or you will become fearful of the unknown but you will see them as moments when God is truly working on you. Your trust issues change to faith because you are then focused on his character. In, in Exodus 3, 14 and 15, and I'm paraphrasing this, God says to Moses, I am who I am. This is my name forever. See, this sets God apart 
He is not limited. He is self-existent, eternal, self-sufficient, self-directed, and God is unchanging. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. See, God is present with his people. He is always aware of our suffering. He would always be present with his people, ready to intervene on our behalf. That means God is our provider. That means God is our healer. That means God is our way maker. The world we live in right now is required for us to make a choice. Either we trust in man or we trust in the Lord. There is no such thing as in between. See, God says, let us then approach his throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Trusting God gives us a bold assurance to, pre to approach him in prayer with confidence because he is our friend and he is our counselor. When we completely trust God, we understand that he is our helper and he is our counselor. When we completely trust him, we know that we know that God is there ready to help who or what can ever get to us naturally. It is easy. It is so easy to look to others for strength and help. We seek people's advice. Or worse than that, we seek people's approval. And all the while, we fail to look to the Lord for any of these things. This has to be disappointing to our Father. See, having trust issues is serious to the Lord. God expects our trust to be in him. Why? Because having trust issues will have you stop praying because you did not think he was listening. It will have you stop relying on faith because you felt it was a waste of time. The thing is, without trust, your faith is inadequate. For we know that without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and he rewards those who seek him. He knows the end from the beginning, and he will do all that he has purposed and bring his plan to completion. As the sovereign of us, as the sovereign of the universe, we can trust him no matter what happens. You've got to know we are safe in his hands. So starting today and the weeks after, I challenge you to let go of control. Release it all by making an intentional decision to trust God. I challenge you to read the word of God as often as you can so that you can embed in your heart to take control of those negative whispers from the enemy. It won't be easy because you will have to make this choice daily. You will have to make this choice daily. From there, you will trust his promises. See, from there, you will see that God will heal you. He will provide. He will elevate you. He will save your loved ones or your children. He will create opportunities for you. He will stabilize your emotions. He will restore your marriage. He will connect you to the right people. He will make room for you in high places. The God I know will make you a vessel of honor to bring glory to his name. He will take you further than you could ever even come close to imagining. He will do what he said he will do. So I challenge you today to just trust God. Put your complete confidence and the one who never, ever fails. Let us pray. Oh God, we open up our vessels. We open up our vessels, God, that the word that has been sent out today, God, that it will not only inspire, but it will penetrate, God. That those who are listening today will go out, Father, and use this word, God, and trust you with all their heart, with all their mind, and with all their soul, God. Because we know that, God, you will never leave us and you will never forsake us, God. We know that you are with us forever and always. God, we love you. We adore you. 
We worship you, God, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Gallman, for that beautiful message, that inspiring message this morning. Um, trust in God. What are we if we don't have faith and we don't trust in him? Um, I'll just highlight something that you said. Without trust, your faith is inadequate. Um Amazing message this morning. Uh, we thank you. We thank you so very much for your messages. Uh, we thank we thank you for being able to bring us that message. Um, we thank God for you and the messages that you bring us. Um, it's just so inspiring this morning. Take so much from that. Um, thank you all for joining us. Please like and share our Facebook page. Please like and share this message. Uh, this will air again on Wednesday at uh, 9 a.m. So please tune in again and forward this to your friends. If there's anyone that you know um, is going through something, just give them a, a boost throughout their week. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Higher Definition Radio viewers, for joining us this morning. Please tune in tonight where Dr. Gallman will be joining us again for our show on current events at 7.30 p.m. for our regular Higher Definition Radio show. Um, on Sunday nights. Uh, we thank you again for joining us. Dr. Goldman. I can't stress enough how much I thank you and appreciate you, not just as a guest on the show, but as a friend. Thank you so very much. Um, we'll see you again next Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Uh, thank you very much, Higher Definition Radio. Um, I just, I'm just so full right now. So have a great Sunday, everyone, and thank you. We'll see you next week.